they're trying to get me to kiss the hog, and yeah. I just kiss the hog. Kiss the hog. Kiss the hog. Come on, kiss it. <laughs> you, no, you kissed worse. Yeah. You guys went on an eight and zero run after Davenport fouled out. How crucial was getting her out of the game so you can put points on the board? The game. Now here's an interesting fact. The Tides defense and special teams have now scored more touchdowns than get this. South Carolina, Buffalo and Stanford have scored on offense. Comes to racing in our state doesn't get much better than the true Alabama gang members. Bobby, Red and Donnie here when they add Dylan Hart Jr. as an honorary member. That's pretty big stuff. Last time Alabama beat Kentucky was this day back in 1983. So we'll see if they can get it done here today. But yeah, that's for us, <laughs> not for y'all. Y'all get to sit behind the desk, but welcome in. How does it feel to be back in Alabama? Oh, she's <laughs> Listen, guys, gymnastics is not for the faint of heart. The key is starting young. And guess who's back on the bump tonight? Check out Jameis Winston throwing out the first pitch at the Tampa Bay Rays game. The Tampa Bay Bucks quarterback and former Hueytown football and baseball star was Auburn and Oklahoma are just three hours away from kickoff. And let me show you these fans, rain or shine, are a bit out here to support. I'm just really trying to stay conservative on this first loop. So pretty hard when a lot of the half marathoners are going pretty fast. A vacuum cleaner before your tennis court, except this one has GPS and cameras that help detect the ball. There's three different kinds of whitewater kayaking, but Smith qualified in freestyle, which means he has one minute to do less than 45 minutes away. You can see Auburn fans are packing out the stands right now. They're ready for this game. If it's anything like we saw last night, you can expect a thriller. Wildcats are the first team in Alabama to have these exclusive helmets. Stewart donating $15,000. Live in Oklahoma City, I'm Christina Chambers. WBRC Fox 6 Sports on your side. For Winona girls basketball coach Emmanuel Bell, there's one thing that's always been true. Basketball is my life. I, I love it. I love it. How we looking? How we looking? It all started 23 years ago when Bell started coaching at Jones Valley Middle School, but high school's where he found success, coaching the Winona Lady Dragons to three consecutive state championships. And now with a fourth title within reach, Bell has put a full court press on his life off the hardwood. I had just buried my mom. My mom died August 1st. A few days later, I got, got sick when I went to the emergency room, and they said I had pneumonia, you know, and went through some tests, and the test came back with a tumor. So doctors ran more tests and gave him the news. Stage four lung cancer. It was devastating, you know. And for them to say, you know, lung cancer, that's enough was a shock because I haven't smoked in like, it had been like 25 years. Cancer had spread from his right lung to his stomach, but the hardest part for Bell, telling his daughter and then his team. He got on speakerphone, he just told us, he was like, don't cry, but you know, and us and me being with him since I was in ninth grade, you know, I cried, but he just told us faith, not fear. And Faith Not Fear is a motto the girls team adopted last January, before Coach Bell was even diagnosed with cancer. But now this has a whole new meaning. It makes my life livable now because I got faith. I don't fear nothing. I fear disappointing God, <laughs> but that's about it. And my kids, you know, it keeps them to know that, okay, well, Coach Bell not scared of this thing, so we're not scared of it. How are we doing this morning? Bell immediately started chemotherapy treatment at Alabama Oncology at Princeton Hospital, making this part of his weekly routine. So this is what I do for the next hour, you know, I have conversation, you know, everybody's here, we're all on the same page, so you know, we all got the same conversation, you know, how good God is. Uh, I got devotion that I do every morning, so I sit here and finish my devotion and put it on Facebook. Setting an example that's inspiring his team. I learned how to fight through challenges because this man has been challenged with cancer and I see him fight every day. And to still be with us means a lot to me. So I feel like we get out here and do it for him and we fight. And that's exactly what the Lady Dragons will do this week at the state basketball championships hoping to bring home another blue map. I'm gonna cry <laughs> because
because I'm appreciate how God is just continuing to bless me and to bless the kids that, you know, that's a part of me. Coach Emmanuel Bell battling the toughest opponent he's ever faced, but with a lot of people who love him on his team. For WBRC Fox 6 Sports, I'm Christina Chambers. Whether if he's on the football field or in the weight room. The flow, that's nice great. Forrest Mullins lives for the game of football. It's really hard for me to put in words for, for the average person to understand what it means to me because it's right up there at the top anything where I'm concerned. Mullins was born with cerebral palsy and has been wheelchair bound his whole life, but he's never let his condition stop him from doing what he loves, and that's coaching. Yeah, Forrest, you know, he really pushes through. You know, when we're up here, he's up here too, so he's really motivating. So, because we see if, if he's around, we could be around too, because we know he, he goes through a lot, so it makes it easiest for us. Mullen started helping the Hillcrest football team when he was in seventh grade and has spent the past few years as the strength coach. Like, his, his mind is go and go and don't stop and push yourself to the absolute limit. And, I like that about Forrest and when I see that he's okay with his disability and that he wants everybody to be better, that makes me want to work harder. Just to show the impact that Mullins has had on this football program, they created an award after his senior year. It's the Forrest Mullins Award and it's given to one player every year. That's probably the one award that's given out at our banquet that, that receives a standing ovation every, every year. You know, we give it to a kid that just displays some kind of courage and perseverance through whatever the situation may be. So it's through Mullen's strength, dedication, and determination that has made him a staple of this football program on and off the field. Here we go. For WBRC Fox 6 Sports, I'm Christina Chambers.